So as we're taking care of our horses, it's important to get an idea of whether uh, the horse is um, too fat or too thin. We're obviously trying for an ideal weight. And there's a, um, a body condition score convention. It's a one to nine scale. And it's helpful uh, to help us assess whether our horse is at an ideal weight. Um, obviously, uh, the scale goes from very, very thin to very, very fat, uh, one being the most uh, thin and nine being the fattest. There are certain areas that characteristically change when a horse uh, gains weight, uh, where they accumulate fat. Um, obviously, in a very thin horse, there's not much to see in these areas, but as the horse gains weight, they, they change. These areas would, in, would include the crest of the neck, from behind the pole to the withers, and over the sides of each side of the crest. In a, in a very thin horse, the, the line between the pole and the withers would be somewhat flat. As the horse gains weight and accumulates fat in this area, the, uh, the crest will uh, obtain a more bowed shape or a convex uh, shape. And if they get even fatter, there might be some increase in thickness to the, to the crest. It might even, be in a very, very fat horse, even fold over. Um, it'll feel uh, firm and uh, meaty in a horse of ideal weight and get more squishy uh, and actually feel like fat deposits in a very fat horse. Another important place where a horse will develop some um, fat or will give an indication of its weight level is over the ribs. Um, obviously, like any animal in a very thin animal, the ribs are showing. Um, and as the uh, a horse gains more weight, the ribs get covered by fat under the skin. Um, this horse, the ribs are uh, not showing. They are just palpable, but not very, very, uh, very palpable. You can't feel a space between them very well. So he's in very good flesh, and um, it would be a higher body condition score. What to look for in the shoulder area, as far as condition goes, is pretty much behind the, the uh, shoulder blade, which is here. Uh, a horse in lighter condition will, be, will have less uh, flesh over the shoulder blade and the shoulder. As they gain weight, the uh, shoulder blade gets covered up. There's a spine running down the shoulder blade that will be very evident in a thin horse and not so evident in a horse of higher condition, as well as fat in the area of the elbow and the triceps before you get to the ribs. So this area here. Uh, very well covered in this horse by uh, flesh and uh, the uh, definition of the bones becomes less obvious as the condition score goes up. The tail head area is a very important area to assess when looking at your horse's body condition. In a very thin horse, uh, the tail head will be very prominent. You'll actually see the spine hitting down to the tail and this area might be sunken. As the condition of the horse increases, this area will fill out. Uh, there's quite a lot of fat in this area. Um, this horse is quite prominent in the tail head area. You can't really see the definition between his tail head and his thigh. So the tail head it basically encompasses the area from about the top of his croup down to about a hand's breadth around the, the head of the tail. And you can see this horse has very, very uh, relatively high body condition score. This is actually tail head fat. Um, so the tail head is a very uh, good uh, place to assess, um, to, to uh, judge your horse's body condition score. The back is another area to assess when judging your horse's body condition score. Um, in a thin horse, the top line will be sunk from the top of the backbone down alongside the ribs. This will, area will be somewhat concave. And as a horse's condition increases, this area will fill in and become uh, more, more full and there'll be less definition between the top of his backbone and the rest of the, the barrel. In a very, very fat horse, there'll actually be a crease down the middle of the back uh, with uh, the excess flesh uh, protruding upwards a little bit. It really depends on the horse, but that's another area to assess. So you're gonna wanna palpate along the horse's back. Um, if it's soft and full as this horse's is, in combination with other parameters, uh, the horse has an increased body condition score. So in conclusion, as a reference, based on examination of this horse's crest, shoulder, barrel, top line, and tail head, uh, I would give this horse a body condition score of about eight, seven to eight. He's quite, uh, he's quite in good flesh, very fleshy. Not extremely fat, but he's on the fat side. So if you just take a look at him, um, he would be, uh, that's where uh, I would assess him.